uh, unboxing of these baits and show you guys uh, the kind of baits that I get from uh, Japan, what I order, and uh, have you take a look at. We'll go over a few of them and see what you think. I tell you, I'm excited because <laughs> sometimes he'll throw in some stuff that uh, I don't know about. Or I'll order things that are just released. And uh, I haven't been able to fish yet. So it's, uh, it's exciting to be honest with you. And I'm sure you bass heads can agree. Uh, it's the box. Just came in. excited because I've got some baits here that uh, that I'm definitely going to be using this spring uh, this pre-spawn and some of them are uh, you know throughout the throughout the year excuse me I got some allergies going on here so bear with me let's see what kind of goodies we got here oh man See if you can see that without me spilling everything. You can get a look at that. <laughs> awesome. All right. First thing we got some bladed jigs. Some flash union. This is the flash jumper. Awesome bladed jigs. I was really looking forward to getting those. Here is a single. Open this up and show you guys. Flash Union has been around for a long time. They have they have awesome baits. Um, I've been looking forward to fishing these uh, these bladed jigs. I have not fished them before. I have fished other uh, baits from Flash Union, but not not the bladed jig. And I can tell you that I will definitely get these out here in the pre-spawn. Do a little fishing with them. See what you think about that. Get the head design on that. On that bait. You see they've got a little line tie on the bottom of the head as well so you can you can drop you a, a willow leaf blade off of that with a swivel uh, there's some other things you can do with this I'll show you uh, in another video very sharp hook awesome definitely a winner right there guys flash union Awesome lady jigs. All right, let's move on. Got some gee cracks in. I've got a lot of these, but you never have too many. This is the 2.8 size. Um, these are awesome baits as well. Oh, my favorites right here, guys. Oh, I ain't gonna show you that yet. Jackal Dare Spin. I absolutely love these. Uh, if you checked out one of my previous videos, I uh, went over some spinner baits. Uh, and I mentioned I was gonna do some uh, videos upcoming with finesse spinner baits, something I throw a lot. These are eighth, and here's a three eighths ounce Dare Spin from Jackal. These are absolutely killer on bass, year-round, actually, especially smallmouth. But from smaller blades, it's like a, it's like an underspin with a, you know, but in a spinnerbait form. I like it because they have a feather. Uh, they have a feather on the in the skirt, and I've actually got some that's out. 
but I can go over with you instead of popping these, but it ain't gonna hurt to open up one anyway. Any hoop, as you can see that, it's got a little feather, as you can see, on the skirt. So I put, you know, trailers on there, but a lot of times you can just throw a spinner bait without a trailer, and that, that feather is actually a, you know, a, a trailer. You can see the head design on that. I mean, these are just awesome little spinner baits, guys. I like the blades on these. They're they're cupped. You can see that. They're hammered. They got a hammered finish. And they're cupped. So you can see that. They've got uh, a lot of vibration uh, for their size. Uh, you'd be surprised. I'm sure uh, a lot of you have fished these. They uh, they have a lot of vibration for the, the small size on that, that Colorado blade. So... That's definitely a winner right there. Um, man, I've been waiting on these guys. I ordered several of these. Mega Bass 110 plus one junior in Northern Secret. Oh yes, Northern Secret. Guys have been seeing these. Uh, they've been popping up on eBay. Uh, For a lot of money. Look at that. It's got purple on the top and chartreuse on the bottom. Can you see that? I mean, the 110 guys, we all know they are the best, in my opinion. There are other great models, but the 110 is just absolutely phenomenal. Definitely a winner right there. 110 plus junior. I ordered several of those, of course. Some more flash unions. Okay, moving on. Can't go without jigs. Uh, I would say that I'm more of a jig nut than anything. Uh, these are from Hide Up. Hide Up. Um, is not known that much in, in the states, if at all. This is the slide fall jig, the hot up slide fall jig. As you see, I got several of these. I got them for finesse applications. Slide fall jig. They got a one out hook on them. They're about, uh, they're some of them are quarter ounce, uh, some of them are eight. Um, I ordered the. Uh, Here's a seven, here's a uh, more closer to a 316. This is the Schoon jig from Hide Up. Awesome jig. Take one out of the pack, let you check it out. I love these because of the head design. Um, you look at that head design on that. It's kind of like a mushroom head, but it's flat on the bottom, so it's going to stand up. You know, when you pull tension on your line, it's going to have a nice stand up to it, just like that. With the vertical line tie, it's going to come through cover a lot better. Uh, all in all, just these are awesome jigs. I ordered all kind of sizes. Uh, you know, for when the pre spawn comes around, we start flipping and pitching on through the, the rest of the year. Uh, and plus, I've got some uh, smaller, some smaller models in these. I mean, like uh, micro, micro size. Like this one's a 2.7 gram. BFS or straight up spinning gear. Um, see that? Oh, hot up schoon. Yeah, I love these. Uh, They've been around for a long time. Awesome colors in their skirts. Uh, and I like their heads, have that matte titanium color. I don't know, it's just something about that color I really like. These right here, my friends, will catch them. This is the old slide fall, and I got the, the schoon. So, boom, hot up. 
old hide up jig. Uh -huh. My favorites. When I always say that, they're all my favorites. Uh, I apologize, guys, but but these are uh, in swim baits. These are my flat junkies. Uh, you've heard me mention the duck fin shad. Daiwa duck fin shad. I mean these, I've got these in two and a half inch all the way up to, man, I mean I've got some monster ones like up to 10 inches, so I've caught so many fish on these, just flat out awesome, awesome swim bait. Duck fin shad, flat junkie, I'm going to take one out so you can see it, even though I've got several already open in a swim bait box show you guys uh, what they look like the smaller size I have man I've been catching them for years on it but let you get a look at that you see that let that focus in you can see that that tail design really has a nice swimming action on it and you see they're thick body these are not hollow they're thick body they do have a, a spot for you to for your hook to come up through if you want to do a a uh, Texas rig, you know, with maybe an owner, flashy swimmer, or uh, if you want to put just a jig head in. They've, it's got multiple rigging options. I don't know what to compare this to as far as other swim bait swimming. Um, it's very unique. This this swim bait. I've done really well on these on scrounger heads. I just uh, they do very well. I've caught more on scrounger heads than I have on on other jig heads. Um, you see how thin it comes down to that tail section. They have a nice nice roll, but not too exaggerated. Uh, and that tail has a, just an awesome kick. And the thing is, is that there's not that many tail designs like that, so. Like I mentioned before, you might as well be throwing a, you know, it's a, it's a swim bait. It's a different swim bait to you and I, but to the fish, it's totally different. Uh, they don't see, they don't see uh, a lot of them duck fin shads in the States. Another northern secret. And uh, another northern secret with another flash jumper in there. Oh. All right, guys. Some of my favorites in soft plastics. So. This is a company called Stagger. I have a hundred of their swim baits. And this is the, the hide up company that makes a Stagger. These are the wides. You're going to love this. These are going to be smallmouth killers right here. I want you to look at that. See if you can focus in on that. Huh? Tell me that ain't awesome. See how flat it is? So you put your little jig head on there. It's got a nice little a long tail section with that little tail. Man, the, the rigging options for this are unlimited. This is a bluegill color. But you can put you a little jig head on there. Oh, dude. They absolutely, the brown fish love these. They've been around for a long time. Uh, I got several colors in these. I'm gonna, I'll take them out of here and get them in a. I'll usually take a paper plate when I get a lot of soft plastics that are, are soft like this, and I'll lay them all out just right, and I'll let them sit for a few days, um, let them train, so to speak, uh, because through shipping, of course, you guys know they get a little bit funked up. Uh, this is a green pumpkin. Uh huh. Tell me that ain't an awesome little finesse bait. It's got that that bait fish profile like a little bluegill or something. It's ribbed, okay. Then it's got a very long tail section that comes to that little bitty tail. And I will get some footage of this uh, in the water coming through the water, look uh, better than the the spinner baits. Bait like this, you can drop shot, you can put it on a jig head, you can finesse jig it. It's unlimited. You can see that a little better look. The old wide. 
The old hide up stagger wide. Man. I love these baits. When he emailed me uh, last week, I was like, heck yeah. Can't find these anywhere. Especially over here in the States. Okay, here's some bigger models I'll share with you. Same same company, but these are the 4 inch. The stagger from Hide Up. To check these bad boys out. What I love about their swim baits, and I'm going to do a, a video on their swim baits. They're, they're very unique. Um, but they ship them in these in these bags, but you see they're, they're kind of aired up a little bit, the way that they make them. So it gives them, them swim baits room in there, and they don't get all crumbled up and messed up. I love that. Man, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I have fault and fault with keeping swim baits. I'm, I'm particular about that, you know, I'm sure you guys are too, if, if a bait, you know, comes and it's all messed up, then I'll try to train it, you know, you, of course you can boil water and, and dip them, I'll put them on paper plates and uh, let them sit, Ooh, man, look at that, uh, just an exaggerated version of the other one, but you could imagine sneaking this through some weed beds or through a stump field, got that same flat profile but it's got the bait fish you know the, the bluegill panfish body to it with the long exaggerated tail with a nice little tail on it I tell you oh man these right here are definitely gonna go to work oh we weedless swim bait stagger I got some green pumpkins in that and I got some uh, bluegill. Let you get another look at that stagger. Wide four inch. You just don't see these guys here. I've been fishing this uh, for a while. Before the uh, pandemic started, I went down south with their swim baits, and I, man, I got on those uh, spotted bass on their little three inch swim bait. They absolutely loved them. Oh yes, this is uh, from Evergreen International. This is the little fat crankbait. It's a finesse crankbait, and it's awesome. I love finesse cranking. Let's take a take a little look at it here. I'm probably going to have to cut this one, which is fine because it's going in the box anyway. I tell you, these uh, evergreen baits, a lot of the, uh, most of, uh, 90-something percent of the, well, ba all baits nowadays, they really, their hooks are, are not to be, <laughs> not to be taken lightly. They are extremely sharp. Evergreen fat. Look at that. that, that awesome, that's an awesome little crawl, crawl color. Circuit board lip. It's a self-tuning lip, they say, uh, as you can see on the bottom there. Just an awesome little profile. You know, on BFS gear or spinning gear, if you're, uh, you know, in a creek or even a river or even a lake and you, you get back in a creek arm uh, where it shallows out and you got just a foot or two of water, a lot of times baits like this, will save the day. Evergreen fact. They call it the spin craft. Um, some people call it the fact, spin craft. Evergreen International makes it awesome bait. Oh yes. Uh, this is from Emikatsu. Okay, this is the sickle shad. Speed tail worm. Okay, but they are unlike any other speed tail worm on the market. They are really a thick bodied worm. A lot of meat where you can have multiple rigging options. Um, they don't get tore up real easy. They really are uh, high quality made baits. And I'm going to, what I'll do is I, I'll repackage all these. I'll keep the, the hard plastic that they come in the trays, but I buy uh, 
I buy four millimeter uh, baggies and I put a lot of my stuff in there. I like it because they come like this. They have the tray. They sit inside the tray and then they have a cover on it. So they stay true to form. That's so important in, in soft plastic. In my opinion, anyway, it's to stay true to form. All right. Sickle shag, guys. This is green pumpkin. It's got a nice little knot on the top there for your hook. When you Texas rig it, it gives you some extra meat on it. This is green pumpkin, of course. And you talk about some sick action on these right here. Oh, I know my buddies in Florida would love this. The sickle Shad from Imakatsu. Very wide body. It's got a big profile. It's got a, a good presence in the water. So if you're Texas rigging um, and you're fishing weed beds or, you know, if you're fishing uh, docks, uh, wood, you know, something like this coming through nice and slow. It's just got a nice profile. It's got a nice nice kicking action on that tail really comes through the water very nicely i've always liked these these have been some of my favorites in uh speed tail worms and look they come they are every package i've got from him with these baits they have been juiced up i've never gotten one dried up or and i like that i'll take it out and put it uh and some more other baggies. So here's some, some more looks at them. Sickle shaft from Imakatsu. Battle stage. Battle you will go. I got two more packs of those. And then I ordered a little uh, pack of uh, Escape Twin Nori's. They do have these over here now. Uh, this is the little twin. For you that's not from, uh, for you guys that maybe haven't seen this bait yet, this is a great little flipping bait. You can also use it as a jig trailer. This is an awesome color too. <laughs> so what you got is you got a nice, nice smaller profile. Okay. You've got these tentacles here, and on the bottom, you've got two crawls, which you can call them crawls, and they're teardrop shaped in a sense, as you can see on both sides. So you Texas rig that, or, you know, jig trailer. I like starting with a, this is one of the few baits I'll start as a Texas rig versus a, a jig trailer. Pitching this around docks. Wood anywhere you you know you'd fish uh, fish for bass of course if you're going to Texas rig fishing and flipping this is a killer bait right here. Norries makes some very good baits, soft plastics, hard baits. Uh, I believe they got some new crank baits out that I'm looking forward to uh, to grabbing too. I think it's I think they got the B Sweet I believe it's uh, called. This is the little escape twin. I'll repackage that as well. Short video, guys. I kind of ran through it. What I'm going to do is I'll do a part two on the water. I'll show some of these baits in the water, uh, the bladed jigs, and, of course, the swim baits, the spinner baits. Go through it and show you what they look like on the water. Uh, thanks for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. God bless and tight lines, my friends.